More and more theatres are announcing that shows will be available online for their audiences to watch at home. But what exactly does that mean? And what can you expect if you buy a ticket to an online or live stream show? So what is live streaming? Live streaming technology allows us to broadcast a show over the internet, a bit like live TV. It means we can put a show on the stage and use our cameras and microphones to send it out over the internet for audiences to watch if they're tuned in to the right channel. Making this available here. In this case, the channel isn't a TV channel, but a streaming platform such as Vimeo, YouTube or Facebook. Just like a live TV broadcast, if you're not watching the stream at the right time, you'll miss the show. Whatever the camera sees live is what the audiences see at home, mistakes and all. As theatres experiment with what they can do online, another format is to stream a pre-recorded performance, similar to watching something on iPlayer. The key difference with a pre-recorded performance is that what you will see will be the same every time you watch it. Once you've bought a ticket, you can often tune in at any time and you can pause, rewind or fast forward. The show will have been edited just like a film or video. The New Wolsey Theatre's co-production with the Lawrence Batley and the Barn Theatre of What a Carve Up is an example of this. If you're buying a ticket to see a show, it's important to understand whether it's really a live stream or a pre-recorded show. If it's a live stream, you need to make sure you tune in at the right time or you'll miss the action. You also need to make sure you have the correct equipment to watch. If you don't want to huddle around your PC, laptop or tablet, the simplest option is to connect your device to a TV at home. Every modern TV has at least one HDMI port on it. You can use an HDMI cable to connect your laptop to it and see your desktop on the big screen. If you're using a Windows laptop and an HDMI cable, find your TV as a video output by right-clicking on your desktop display and choosing Display Settings. Under Multiple Displays, look for Mirror These Displays to make sure your desktop appears on both. Mac users can use a similar cable, although you may need an adapter to convert to HDMI. Android phone users can try Chromecast or screen mirroring as a way to send sound and images to a bigger screen. If you have an Apple TV, an iPhone or iPad, you'll be able to use AirPlay to cast the stream to your TV. There are thousands of how-to guides available for free on the internet that walk you through each of these methods and many more besides. If you search how to live stream for your particular smart TV model, you'll find plenty of step-by-step -step guides. If you can book a ticket online for a show, the chances are you'll be able to watch a live stream show without too much difficulty. It's worth taking the time to practice setting up before the day of your show to avoid a last minute panic. Especially if your chosen show is a live stream like the New Wolsey's rock and roll panto, The Snow Queen. You don't want to miss the start of the action. You'll get a link about 48 hours before the show. Use this time to test your link and make sure you know how to set things up. When you've done it once, it should be a breeze next time round. Your link for the show won't be used up by testing it, so feel free to use the link to get through to the holding page for the show and make sure everything's working. You'll be able to enjoy all sorts of new delights on the big screen at home. Go on, give it a try. It's not as hard as it seems.